Yeah, a couple of more, Keith. Uh, some Florida guys that have already locked in dates with Auburn, Colton Heinrich, the uh, the tight end from Cardinal Gibbons is expected or planning in, uh, to be at Auburn Friday, March the 17th, which we believe will be the Tigers' first scrimmage of the spring. Also, uh, Jay, Jalen Hayward, the uh, the defensive back from Rockledge down in Florida, uh, who's committed to Georgia, yeah. is supposed to be there. Dylan Stevenson, Christopher Columbus High School. Uh, I know Zach likes him, Dylan Stevenson. Uh, Colton, we mentioned him. Uh, so, so there's going to be – and we expect a lot more from Florida to be up in Auburn soon. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cole Pinkston says that Auburn's extremely high on Dylan Stevenson. He's an edge down there. Uh, yes, sir. You know, and that, quite frankly, uh, as good as St. Thomas has been, Columbus, Christopher Columbus is now challenging a few of those top schools to be the elite school for the here and now in, in Florida. And uh, big school down there. Uh, one time, I think it was the largest Catholic school in the country. But he uh, – that, that that's, I hear a lot of good things about him. I mean, you know, again, that's the one that I, I want to say the old Auburn staff, Rock Bell and Tony, might have got the ball rolling. And got in the door there. Here's another one. Uh, Saquon, Sa- Saquon Patterson is yeah. a safety at uh, Hialeah, or excuse me, not Hialeah, at Hollywood Shamanah Madonna, another great, great program. One of the best three or four programs in Florida. He said, hey, I'm going to visit Auburn too. Now, the old staff was on him hot and heavy. And I didn't know whether the new staff was still communicating with him or not. You don't know. He says, yes, they are. We talk every day. So another guy to watch, four-star in-the-box type safety. Uh, also in South Florida, Chase Malamala, an offensive tackle. The Roberts monitoring. Old staff offered him. He says, hey, I still got an offer, but I, I don't know that the new staff has re-offered yet. I don't think they have. He was close to Joe Bernardi, uh, who uh, the offensive analyst who was working with the offensive line. He's left for Troy. So we'll have to see what happens there. Auburn says they're going to come down to Florida and evaluate him this spring. But uh, Jalen uh, Howard? No, Hayward. Hayward, Jalen Hayward. That guy's supposed to be really good. Uh, Rockledge is, a, is probably one of the better programs in Central Florida. Uh, and obviously Auburn's done well there before. Octavius Brothers signed out of there. Ladarius Tennyson, who was a very good player, signed out of there. So there are good players there, and he's the next in line. And, and we mentioned this on the show last night. He was at Florida this weekend. Some people think the door's cracked open. And and I think you got this information about the same time I did, Jeffrey. Well, you might have got it before me. I hate to give you any credit. But but I believe uh, that they reached out to Auburn. Uh, I believe that they reached out to Auburn to set up this visit. Uh, so that's significant. So we'll see what happens there. So it, it's not that, that Auburn isn't recruiting Florida hard. They are. I just don't know that the overall depth of the state is, yeah. is what it used to be. Or, or what we're used to seeing. So, again, here we've rattled off 10, 12 guys that they seem to be very much in the picture with. So we'll have to continually track them and see what develops. But it, it's always a key state. But if you get – I mean, Jonathan Daniels, I mean, mm. you know, talk about the, the big one. If you can somehow stay in the game as long as possible with that and knowing that he could come in. He's got some of the – I talked to Charles Power, our director of the Scotty Institute. They're just blown away by this guy's film. Maybe he's a guy that you could – conceivably tell you can play a lot year one sure. and it actually be believable you know 